Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, you will learn the difference between independent and the dependent variables. In a science experiment, you have three variables. The constant variables, the independent variables, and the dependent variables. The constant variables are variables that don't change. In this video, we will focus on the difference between the independent and dependent variable. An independent variable, which is also sometimes called the manipulated variable, has the ability to stand alone. It is the variable you are changing or manipulating. In simple terms, you change the independent variable. The dependent variable, which is also called the responding variable, depends on the independent variable. It is the variable you are measuring. In simple terms, the dependent variable is what you measure. Let's look at some examples and see if we can understand the difference between independent and dependent variable a little bit better. It is summertime. You would like to know if the color of the car impacts the inside temperature of the car. You find four cars of different colors and park them outside and you measure the inside temperature of each car every 30 minutes for two hours. The color of the car is the independent variable because you have four different colors and you change this. Remember, the independent variable is what you change in the experiment. The temperature inside each car is your dependent variable. It may vary according to the car's color. You will be measuring this variable by taking the temperature inside the car every 30 members. Remember, the dependent variable is what you are measuring. Let's look at a couple more examples. The height of a tree depends on the amount of water it receives. The amount of water the tree receives is the independent variable. The amount of water that the tree receives will change and the height of the tree is the dependent variable because you are measuring the height of each tree. Another example, will eating five servings of bananas a week reduce the blood pressure in male patients? The number of bananas that the patients eat each week will be the independent variable because it will change and the blood pressure is the dependent variable because it is what you are measuring. When graphing the independent and dependent variables, you can remember which axis they go on by using the term dry mix. The D stands for the dependent variable, the R stands for the responding variable, and the Y stands for the Y axis. So that means the dependent variable is graphed on the Y axis. Mix stands for M is mix manipulating, the I stands for independent, and X stands for the X axis. So therefore, the independent variable goes on the X axis. It's just an easy way to remember which axis they both go on. So I hope this helps you in understanding the difference between an independent and dependent variable. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.